It says I'm live, which means I must be live. Uh, yes, indeed, Matt Tangent here. How are you doing? Um, it is December the 5th, so we're day five of 24 uh, for uh, my advent ca ca calendar. Mm. Advent calendar, not challenge. It's not really a challenge for my uh, chilly advent calendar. Uh, more like an opening, a boxing, unboxing, that kind of thing. So we've got two, uh, two chili advent calendars and one cheese advent calendar. Just to remind people, this is the, uh, this is the chili one. We don't like this. It's been pretty poor since the beginning. It's going to continue to be poor. Uh, we've got one from Debenhams. This one, we kind of like this one, so we're, we're happy with that. And, of course, we have the cheese advent calendar, which is uh, from Sonom. It's wrong. Um, so yesterday we had, I tried some uh, banana habanero um, chutney, uh, is it chutney would you say? Uh, from um, Mr. Vicky's, which was very, very nice. Um, and today I've got something pretty special to, uh, to play with. I say play with, it's not a sauce, it's something much, much worse. We will uh, do that. Hey Titan, hey Chili Queen, how you doing? Thank you for joining me. So, also, I forgot to have my um, uh, dynamite stick yesterday, so I'm going to have one of those today as well. So, without further ado, shall we get this one out of the way? Because, um, yeah, we just need to get it out of the way. One, two, three, four. So we're on door window number five here. This is the one from B&M, B&M stores. We don't like these at all. Oh, good God. And here we go. Yep, it does look quite quite nasty. Um, this is the Thunder Down Under chili sauce. Did I have this earlier on? I can't remember if I've had this one. Um, let me read you the ingredients. Thunder from Down Under. Not to be um, confused with Justin Rommel, who is the Thunder from Down Under. Um, where are we? Da -da 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 -da. Death Valley. Thunder from Down Under. It, oh, actually, yeah, we had the Indian tiger blood chili sauce yesterday. Um, and apparently this thunder from down on is the same ingredients, which is rubbish, isn't it? Water, red chili, 18.5%, salt, E numbers, E numbers, and more E numbers. I'm just going to get this out of the way because um, we know the drill now. I'm just going to cut this open, try not to spill any salty fluid all over my table. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it's the same as yesterday. It's just disgusting. There's, there's nothing, there's no redeeming. There's nothing, nothing good about that at all. Oh, oh, I mean, just look, look at the, uh, the blurb on here, chili lovers advent calendar. Anyone who likes chili sauce, if you were to give you give them this as a gift, they would hate you. They would hate you with a passion. 24 days of hot sauce, 24 days of disappointment, and ugh, in the mouth. It tastes like plastic. Oh, it's horrible. Spice up your holiday season. No, absolutely not. Ugh. Okay. That's the dice from the... Uh, the dynamite sticks. It's rolled onto a chili, which is a good thing. Um, what day is it today? It's the fifth. So number five. Where are we? Number five. Five, five, five. Where's five? Can anyone see five? Ah, five is over here. Let's open this up. Again, the, I do like this because these are really solid. These aren't going to fall out even by, by mistake. Hi, James. How you doing? Your birthday's on the 18th, is it? You're Scorpio. Scorpios are all mad, aren't they? Nigel, bin it? I, I, I would bin it, but I'm kind of committed to um, to trying them all every day. I mean, you know, start with a bit of disappointment and continue with um, hopefully less of a disappointment. Anyway, what's this one? This is extreme Cajun sauce. Again, I do like these little bottles. I've actually been collecting these. I actually quite like them. Um, so Cajun hot sauce, we have distilled vinegar, no surprise, uh, red cayenne, pepper mash, 
Um, and stabilizer salt, scorpic acid, etc. So again, it's uh, vinegar, pepper mash, chili. Um, let's give it a go, shall we? Let's give it a shake. Just pop the lid here. I'm getting good at this now. There we go. And there we go. Let's have a little snifter. Again, all these sauces actually from the Debenhams one, they do smell very, very similar. It's that vinegar pepper mash thing. I'm gonna give it a little taster. Very similar to the others. It's got that red chili flavor. Actually, it's a red cayenne, wasn't it? Oh, a little bit of spice coming through. Yeah, red cayenne. Again, that's not too bad. Mm. You can't really go wrong with that. There's nothing special, but it's not bad. I'm gonna save that for the uh, for the G's. Again, actually, that one's got a li little bit more pep to it. A little bit more peppery tingle on the tongue there. Mm, not bad at all. Not bad. Okay, guys. We're going to go for the cheese. Now, I've had a few issues with the uh, with the levelling here. Even just now, some of the cheeses have fallen down the uh, down the mechanism, as it were. Um, even not on this side, so I've got a bit of a bulge. There's going to be something up here without a cheese in it. Um, where's number five? Number five is down here. So we'll open this up, and I shall read you the joke. Oh, we got Charlesburg. Oh, I do like a bit of Jarsburg. There we go, that's not bad, is it? Oh, cute. Um, I might actually write to, um, is it Annette? An M, it's An M, who designed this, and just to say, you need, need a better way of keeping the cheeses in the uh, in the box, to stop them from falling down or falling out. Right, I'm just gonna fold that back up, there we go. Okay, kids. Are we ready for the joke? This one has been sent in by Catherine Nancholas. Nancholas. Catherine Nancholas. N A N C H O L I S. Nancholas. That's an interesting name. Anyway, here's the joke. Why didn't the cheese want to be sliced? Because it had greater plans. Ah, oh, yes. That's um that's that's okay. That's it's not great. I'm not I'm not lolling, am I? No. Catherine, you've got a day job, stick to it. You love this live calendar. I love it as well. Mandy, is that is that down is that thumb down? Is that for me or the joke? Or both. Anyway, that's down there. Got the cheese, got some sauce. And I have a rice cracker. So we're gonna open up the cheese. Now Charles Bird's kind of quite a nutty one, isn't it? Pops out there quite nicely. It's not going anywhere. It's not crumbly. It's cheese, it's Charles Bird. So I'm just gonna peel a bit of that off. Oh, actually that's not great. You can see that it's got that uh, kind of, I'll say it looks crumbly, but it's not crumbly. It's just the way it's just broken. So that's going on the, on the biscuit. Actually, I'm gonna have a bit on its own. Mm, good. We like that, Charles. Thank you, Mandy. I'm glad it's a joke. Right. There we go. Bit of Cajun hot sauce. On some Jarsberg, on a rice cracker. Mmm. No, that one without. I'm really pleased actually. These chili sauces are going really well with the uh, with the cheeses. I think it was yesterday I had the uh, the Wednesday there with cranberry. I thought it was going to be overly sweet, but it really worked well with the um, 
with the kind of acidity from the from the chili sauce. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. What's not to like? Now, I forgot to have one of these yesterday. I'm still waiting for the really, really hot one. These are the dynamite sticks from uh, from here. Uh, Devon Chili Man um, uses his chilies. It's created by the Western Built On Company. It's a game. It's got a dice. You throw it. There's instructions and gameplay on the back. But you know what? I just like eating them. There we go. So in here, they're the, uh, the drawers. One of these is going to be super, super, super hot. I haven't found it yet. So I'm just going to just grab one. See what happens. Oh, it tastes great. You can really taste the coriander in that one. Coriander seed. There's a bit of warmth in there. I still haven't found the really big one. The really hot one yet. Mmm. No, really good though. Really good. Right. I'm just going to finish this in my mouth. I've got something here which um, I've had for several months now. It's this malicious intent from Cully's in New Zealand. Now, Chris Cully gave me this bottle when he sent me uh, some of the world's hottest ramen noodles um, a while back. Now, I tried those noodles. They were really, really hot. <laughs> I'm making you hungry, Mandy. Well, hold on. This actually might uh, make you feel sick, actually, this one. <sighs> this malicious intent is a tincture. Can you see that? Um, and it's made by Cully's, New Zealand. Website, cullies.co.nz. Um, it is meant to be really, really, really hot. Now, this, when I first got it, it was up to here. But because it's got alcohol in it, it's kind of, um, the alcohol's evaporated. And this is getting a lot, lot darker. It's going to be several million Scovilles in here. Um, Chris did say that um, the guy who tests the Scoville heat levels for his, for, you know, for things like this, said it was one of the hottest tinctures he'd ever sampled. So I'm a little bit nervous, but also I'm kind of intrigued as to what it might be like. Um, so I'm just going to open this up and uh, maybe try a few drops on the tongue. I mean, it's a really dark, dark red, really dark. It was a lot thinner when I first got it. So the concentration of this is going to be uh, immense. I can't smell much. Kind of smells a little bit of alcohol. Actually smells quite fruity as well. Really weird. And it says X, X, X hot. Um, I'm going to Put a few drops on this spoon here. And just be very, very careful with it. Okay, so we've got three drops. I saw Johnny Scoville put quite a bit of this in his uh, World's Hottest Ramen Noodles. Yes, Titan, the bottle of pure pain. So we've got a few uh, drops in here. Let's see what this is like. Okay. I've had 9 million Scoville extract before, um, but not in a tincture. So let's see. I can taste Reaper. It's kind of vaporized in my mouth. <coughs> wow. It tasted a little bit sweet, a kind of a, almost like a fruity biscuit. Not fruity, like a fruit sweet. Wow. It's just building straight away. Um, oochie coochie sauce. It's just making my mouth fill up with saliva right away. It's just, I've got so much saliva here. 
I haven't got any pictures. <sighs> I've got a lot of spit. Mm. It's just producing so much spit. Wow. Wow. It's just building and building and building. Oh, my word. Ah, again, more saliva being produced. Oh, my word. And that was just a couple of drops. Excuse me. I just have to keep spitting the saliva out. Wow. I, I have brightened up, haven't I? Whew. Ah, I don't have any milk with me. I don't do milk. Uh, I've got some water, though, silly me. Oh, my word. It's just my tongue is on fire. Uh, oh. It's just really, really burning my tongue. It's really quite unpleasant. Wow. More saliva being produced. I don't want to swallow any of this a bit, to be honest. Oh, I think I'll have a bit more cheese. And that's just a couple of drops. That's immense. Oh man, that really hurts. That's on my lips, but it's my mouth. It's just literally on fire. And that was from just a couple of drops. Wow. I wouldn't want much more than that, to be honest. Yeah, almost panic mode. Oh, a little bit light I've got a bit of a sweat coming on my forehead. I can feel my glasses steaming up just under my, eye, my eyebrows here. Wow. Ha. Oh, man. Finish my cheese off. Whew. Go to my safe place, as Mark used to say. Wow. Yeah. I'm kind of buzzing a bit now. Getting a little bit fizzy. Oh, but it is quite chilly in the conservatory, which is kind of helping a bit. Wow. That is just crazy, crazy, crazy. And it's made from just reapers, I think. I can't remember what, what Kelly said, Chris said. But I think it's can I don't even know how they make it. Something to do with witchcraft and science combined to make that. Wow. Oh man. Chasing the heat, definitely. Buzzy, 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 buzzy. Oh. <sighs> Well, yeah. And again, just some, a few, three tiny drops. So uh, there's a lot more pain in there. Wow. There we go. Kind of subsiding a bit. Kind of getting a real little buzz though. So I'm gonna enjoy this for a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I think we'll leave it there. I'm sure you've got better things to do. But uh, thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe, like, share, comment and all that. And I'll see you again another time. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be fine tomorrow. Should be. Well, I'm just gonna enjoy this buzz a little bit longer. Thanks again. Touch it now. Thank you all. Goodbye. Yeah.